Hey everyone! In this video I want to talk about cookies and how to block them in Google Chrome, Safari, Mozilla Firefox and Microsoft Edge. But first, a spot of history. Why are cookies called cookies? Originally, the term magic cookies was used. These were small data files exchanged between computer programs. Why they were labeled cookies? No one is really sure. The English language version of Wikipedia has an interesting discussion on this topic. Here are the most peculiar theories. The name comes from fortune cookies, the similarity being that both types contain a small text inside. The name may also refer to the magic cookies in Alice in Wonderland, just as readme files are said to take their name from Eat Me Cookies in Lewis Carroll's famous book. Or maybe it's a nod to the kid's song Who Stole the Cookies from the Cookie Jar. The connection with cookie files is that applications and websites store them on your computer like cookies in a jar, from where they can be accessed sneakily. The cookie jar was also a feature for storing information about programs and devices in the old Atari TOS operating system. In 1994, American programmer Lou Mantulli introduced magic cookies for connecting to the web pages. This is how browser cookies were born. Now, let's look at how they work. When you visit a site, the site creates a small text file on your device called a cookie. The file contains data about your system and actions you perform on the page. In other words, your digital footprints that websites store for their own use. Let's elaborate further. Cookies come in two flavors. Basic cookies. Websites use this to personalize themselves for you. For example, they might save your local city you selected or remember your language preferences. Also, thanks to these files, you don't have to enter your username and password every time you log in, which is an amazing feature. Third-party cookies. These cookies use information about you for targeted advertising and analytics. They are sort of like digital spies that keep an eye on what banners you click and what you search for in online stores. Not everyone likes such attention. Thankfully, you can block them. Deleting and blocking cookies can raise a number of dilemmas. Should you block them all or just some of them? Manually or automatically? A real chin scratcher. To get to the bottom of the issue, I recommend reading through the relevant Kaspersky Daily articles, links in the description. Meanwhile, I will cover one of the configuration options – blocking third-party cookies in different browsers. To block all third-party cookies in Google Chrome in one fell swoop, click the three dots icon in the upper right corner, select Settings, and go to Security and Privacy then to cookies and other site data. To block all third-party cookies, select Block third-party cookies. If you either want certain websites to collect both first-party and third-party cookies, or on contrary, if you don't want them to store anything, do the following. Scroll down to the Customized Behaviors section. Select Add next to the sites that can always use cookies or sites that can never use cookies. Enter the URLs in the relevant field. If you want the exclusion to apply to all cookies, check the including third-party cookies on the site box. This checkbox must always be set at the start. In editing mode, it will no longer be there. Instruction for Safari. This browser blocks third-party cookies by default. To make doubly sure in your Safari for macOS, do the following. Go to Safari menu and select Preferences, Privacy, check that Prevent Cross-Site Tracking is enabled. For more precise settings, select Manage Website Data. Here you can see which sites store cookies and other information on the computer, and also delete cookies and data for individual sites. Mozilla Firefox offers users three levels of privacy protection – Standard, Strict and Custom. In the first case, Third-party cookies are blocked only in private windows. In the second, there is a risk that some websites will not work properly as the developers themselves admit. That's why we advise taking a closer look at the custom option. It allows you to choose which cookies to block. Click on the three bars icon in the upper right corner and select Settings, Privacy and Security, Select Custom. 
Go to the drop-down menu in the right of the cookies option and select all third-party cookies. You can also prohibit or allow specific web resources to store all types of cookies and site data. To do so under Settings, Privacy and Security, scroll down to Cookies and Site Data. Select Manage Exceptions. In the window that opens, enter the URL of the site that you want to block or allow to use cookies. Select Block or Allow followed by Save Changes to Finish. To block third-party cookies in Microsoft Edge, do the following. Select the three dots icon in the upper right corner and select Settings. In the left-hand menu, select Cookies and Site Permission. Go to Manage and Delete Cookies and Site Data. Enable Block Third-Party Cookies. So you did it! Two digital birds with one virtual stone. Your privacy is secure and your favorite websites will continue to work. Follow the links in the description for more life hacks about browser setup and be sure to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.